What is up, you guys? I'm Charmix. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Garfield Comic Explained by The Odd Ones Out. Now, the other day, I reacted to, basically, I started off by saying the exact same thing, but instead, the, it was, like, the second part, so I, and I didn't, like, react to the first part, so I reacted to the first part, and today, I'm reacting to the second part, if that makes any sense. And if you have not seen the first part, I definitely recommend uh, you go watch the reaction to that one. If you want to be caught up on what's going on, so that link will be in the description. Hopefully, if I freaking remember to put it there. Anyway, with that being said, uh, the original link's in the description. Make sure you guys go subscribe to The Odd Ones Out. And in the last episode, uh, The Odd Ones Out was kind of analyzing his Garfield comics he made when he was like 9 years old or something. He's really young. And the second comic he made made absolutely no sense. And he said, you know, I'll pay someone $23 if they explain you know, what was going on in the comic. So I guess in this one, he actually got the answer, so he's going to be analyzing the second comic. I think I have everything figured out. Anyway, with that being said, the original link's in the description. Make sure you guys go subscribe to The Odd Ones Out. Without any further ado, let's begin. So, like, like I, I said, said, I don't know what this one's about. I don't know what the joke is. I just don't get it. So I will make you an offer. I will give $20 to anyone that explains what this comic is trying to do. So immediately after posting the Garfield video, which if for whatever reason you haven't seen, you should go watch it, I had a bunch of people try and figure out what the second Garfield comic was. And you guys got it almost immediately, like within minutes. I saw a bunch of other comments out really? there that had the right explanation, but it was the user Solo McCraft's comment that I saw first, and it was the most upvoted. Some people probably spent a good 10 minutes typing out all these explanations. I'm sorry, but this guy was first. So after trying to figure out how to message him on YouTube, I asked if he had a Twitter. He said he did, and we talked. Whatever happened to you, do you, 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 you stroke? Whatever happened to YouTube messages? Like I remember way, way, way back in the day, like 2012-ish. They used to have like an inbox thing where you could actually message people. I don't know. I mean, way, way back in the day, they used to have that. It's kind of like you know, uh, personal DMs on Twitter. Basically, it worked like that, and they used to have that kind of you know system way back in the day. And I don't know if they got rid of it or they're hiding it or what, but I, I, I kind of miss it. I kind of miss it. As well as like video um, replies. Way, way, way back 2012 ish, you could reply to people with videos. That was awesome. There. You got a PayPal? No, I'm only 15. Crap. So we decided that I would pay him via a Steam gift card. I just wanted to mention that and say that I was true to my promise of $23. Except Steam only has $20 gift cards, so I guess $3 is still on the table. So now what you've all been waiting for, let me explain what this comic was trying to do. So that is a teth brush and that is teth paste. And that is John walking up to it and okay, you know how adults and dentists tell kids that the amount of toothpaste you should put on a toothbrush should be the size of a pea? Well, I've heard that. I've heard that you're supposed to put on the size of a pea. One pea is so small though. Like, it's not enough. You have to have a lot more. And that would explain in the last comment why he was saying P-E-E, -E, but, you know, it should have been P-E-A. Because now it sounds like he's breath brushing his teeth with the urine. Well, that's what John was trying to say. They say you should use the amount of toothpaste that is similar to the size of a pea. See, this word pea is supposed to be the pea as in the vegetable pea. I think that's what threw me off the most is because I kept thinking that this was a potty joke. <laughs> then John's going to brush his teeth and he says, Garfield, that's not pea sized. And he says this because Garfield is holding a teeth brush with a mountain of teeth paste. I thought this was like a spray or something. And then Garfield says, yes, it is because the teeth paste is pea sized because he has a massive pea. That's why it's green. This is a pea as in the vegetable. Oh, I don't know why it's not round though. But I get the comic now. <laughs> That was stupid. I just want to talk about this comment <laughs> on the video I saw. That's not Garfield. That's your own original character. Garfield. <laughs> and I really like Oh, it. that original character is a lot more disturbing than the uh than the Garfield I'm familiar with. That's disturbing. That's like, oh my goodness. That's like if you had a if you had a pet that was um it's like a hairless cat, but like low key possessed by something. That's what it would look like. <laughs> like that. And he's drawn like this. Ah, I love it. See, that's this is that's Garfield. 
and this is graffito. And okay, there were a couple of people who redrew the comic and sent it to me. And it's funny because some of them, I don't think they knew what was happening either. So I'm just gonna read some of the comics that people sent to me. So these three comics right here, they were actually correct. They got it right. I like how this one says, not as excited. There's a toothbrush and then John's walking up to the toothbrush. And they basically all say the same thing. They say you should use a pea-sized amount of toothpaste. And then he's going to go brush his teeth. And I like how this one has a massive toothbrush. And then they all go, Garfield, that's not pea-sized. And then you see Garfield with the mountain of toothpaste. And he's like, yes, it is, because he has another pea. <laughs> I like this one because it's like actually round. And all the rest didn't get it right. And this one, I really like the facial expressions. There's like, he's walking up and he says, they say you should use the really big toothpaste. He's about to go and says, Garfield, that's not paste. And then he's, yes it is. <laughs> oh, I love it. This one, it feels like a computer should be reading this one. Here is the bathroom where the comic will take place. Someone just used like, uh, you know, just inserted text. Oh yeah, they just drew it with the computer. Look at it. The lines are like perfect. Okay, yeah, so this is a computer drawn one. John walks in looking awake as ever. They said to always brush your teeth with toothpaste. He talks about what his dentist said. He gets his IDK. Garfield that's not a piece. Garfield interrupts him by doing this. He basically pulls up the water pipe and water goes everywhere. John is upset. <laughs> then Garfield pulls up the sewage drain as well. So there is gross <laughs> liquid everywhere. John is scared now. Garfield explains it all in one sentence. Yes it is. Good job man. <laughs> this one, I love the creative take on it. First it's called Garnish. And then John comes in. Garnish. They say you should use the big toothbrush to remove all your last night mistakes. And then he has another giant toothbrush. Garfunkel, that's not a toothbrush. I know John, it's a crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> well life has no real meaning anyway. Yeah, that was great. I like- I got dark. How he took what this was supposed to be a toothbrush and made it look like a crack pipe. And to be honest, it looks more like a crack pipe than a toothbrush, so good job. <laughs> and this one was made like 20 minutes. It looks kind of like a dinosaur head. It's after I posted the video. It was drawn super fast. And I like how they drew Garfield, how I drew Garfield. So he goes, Garfield, that's not pieces. Translation, that's not your toothbrush. He takes it and then translation, to fight John for toothbrush ownership, Garfield unleashes his secret power. Yes, it is. His secret power is being able to control a green slime. <laughs> so this next one was drawn by a comic friend of mine. He makes a comic called Doggy Bag. He's on Tumblr and iFunny. I actually collabed and made a comic with him before. I this one's actually a remake of the Fire comic, and I just love all the attention to detail in this one. It starts by saying, by James R, age six, illustrated by Doggy Bag. It has our Twitter, and he calls it Garfield. And so we see John saying happy birthday, and then wah, and then firefighters go, where's the fire? And why did you blur the uh, the nozzle of the fire hose? And John goes, my cat just having a bee day. I like how the cake is falling apart. The beep beep and the first beep looks funny like how it was in the first one. And John goes, oh no. Ah. For some reason, I just love how lifeless Garfield looks in the- Yeah, he looks- I don't know, is that Garfield worse than the actual, you know, his Garfield? The one that looks like it's possessed by something? Because now they kind of both look like it? I don't know. I mean, they're both freaking, they're both terrifying. I mean, would you rather have a cute, demonic Garfield, or would you rather have a terrifying, demonic Garfield? I mean, either way, this, it's not good. But I guess, you know, if you're gonna have to deal with a, a demon, it might as well be cute. This know. comic. So anyway, those were all the comics. Sorry if I missed any. Thanks for watching. We're not going to do an end card, and I'll see you next time. All right. So now that that last comic actually makes sense to me, because if you know when I first saw it on the the first reaction to the 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 first comic, that makes any sense. It did not make any sense. Like when I first saw it, it was like. What? What am I looking at? But yeah, now it actually makes sense, and I have heard that you're supposed to use, you know, a pea-sized amount of toothpaste. I do not do that, I just go Bleh! and I put as much as I want, because, uh, I like to have nice minty breath and clean teeth. So, uh, I don't- like, pea-sized doesn't seem like it's gonna get the job done. I don't know. I don't know, I'm not a dentist. But anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, plus for sure with friend. If you're new, and subscribe to the family. Also, make sure you guys go subscribe to the Odd Ones Out. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop.